Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video for the channel, and um, I am in a different area for today because of the video. You definitely already read the thumbnail. Read, read the thumbnail. You definitely already read the title of this video and saw the thumbnail, so you know what to expect. Which is probably why we're in a different setup. If you saw my last video where I reviewed the SH Monster Arts um, Godzilla minus one figure, you probably saw that that set is extremely small. But now on to the actual video. So I have an addiction. Uh, yeah, no wonder. So we're gonna be going through every single Godzilla-related thing I own. Well, not me personally, but that is in this house. And most of them are mine. So we'll start with the small things and then work our way up from there. So let's just start. First up is this Godzilla keychain. I think I got this for a Christmas a few years ago. The tail broke off. I actually have two of these. I just decided to bring one down because it's not worth the hassle. So that's just one thing. Alright, now we got these very small mini, mini, mini figures of Godzilla characters. I got these for my birthday a few years ago. Um, so we'll just review each one. So, I'll start with this. Oh, I think this is supposed to be Godzilla from Godzilla, uh, which one? Godzilla 2000, I think. But the camera, I don't think the camera's gonna focus. You get the gist of it, though. This is from Godzilla 2001, I think. Godzilla 2000. Yeah. So, that's that figure. Um, here we got Shin Godzilla. This is... They all basically just have the same basic compartments. They, they're they all of them, for most of them, actually not all of them. For the main Godzillas, the articulation is in the legs and the arms. And that's it. Um, Space Godzilla. Not much to talk about, it's just Space Godzilla. Um, King Ghidorah Monster Zero. Ugh. I need to attach the wings because the wings on this guy falls off. Very easily. <laughs> All right, so we got this pretty basic King Ghidorah classic version. Um, Rodan, just classic Rodan. Actually, no, I think that's from Final Wars. I don't know. Um, we got 2014 Godzilla. You can tell because of the way the spine, the dorsal spines are designed. Kiru, aka Mecha Godzilla. From Godzilla against Mega Godzilla and Tokyo SOS. Um, Godzilla Earth. This version of Godzilla from the anime. I haven't watched that. I don't know. I don't. I hear okay things about it. I'm not a big anime watcher. Um, 1995 Burning Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Destroya. <laughs> and then, you know, Classic Mothra. So, that's that. Those are most of the small things. Let me bring out some other ones. All right, so here we got some action figures. So we'll start with this one. We got ah, Kiru. I think this is a bootleg of some sorts, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. Somebody gifted this to me, and it's it's pretty good. I might customize it so that it has more articulation. The only articulation it has is a slight rotation at the tail. Um, the arms barely move the head rotates oh. as you just saw the torso also rotates and there's a swivel at like the knee also because of the way this thing is sculpted it doesn't really stand because the tail goes over the um uh, or it goes underneath the feet so that's what it looks like when you try to stand him next up is this skull crawler figure from playmates comes with its battle damage. I used this in the stop motion a few, almost a year ago, I think. Months, months ago, many months ago. Um, basic articulation, you know, mouth, arms. And then there's a ball joint at the tail. Just basic stuff. Next up is this Mothra. I don't actually remember getting this. I don't know where I got this Mothra figure from. I think just one day I found it, and I don't know where I got it from. There's no articulation, but like you can make it do stuff because of how malleable it is. 
so you can make Mothra do stuff. But, yeah, nothing too special about this. No articulation. It's a fine. It's just it's a fine figure. Alright, here we got this Jack Pacific Rodan from Vezel King of the Monsters. Basic articulation again, just like at the head, some here at the wings, and then here at the tail, or the, not the tail, the legs. And then last but not least, Jack Pacific King Ghidorah. So, when I first got this figure, it was actually a great figure. But it wears down extremely easily. I mean, this thing is from 2019, and it's like, what, 2024? So it's like been... It's like almost four or five years? Yeah, okay, that's a problem. So, <sighs> this part broke. You see here, there's a little hole right there for the uh, wing to connect into, so that it goes in there. You see, it, it broke, and now that's just stuck in there. You could still put the wings in, and they still move, but they fall off very easily. That happened on the other side as well. It's just kind of disappointing, honestly. But there's, like I said before, there is articulation at the wings, at the legs, at the two tails, and then at the base of the three heads. Alright, next, let me see if I can get some other figures. We're gonna, miss, gonna start getting into the bigger stuff now. Alright, so here we got, this is like the last of it before we get into actual like big action figures and stuff. So, we'll start with this. We got King Kong vs. Godzilla, the original 1962, I think. The original 1962 movie, it is a uh, DVD. I think this is Blu-ray? Is it? I don't know. I don't think it's Blu-ray, though. Here it is. The disc. I've watched it. It's a good movie. There's not much to say about that. Alright, next up is this Godzilla plushie. I get this. I got this for my birthday a few years ago. The same year I got like all these little guys from the same person. So thank you. Um. Anyway, it's just a plushie. You know, Godzilla plushie. It looks kind of derpy. Like it looks like Godzilla retired. But yeah, that's about it. Just a basic Godzilla plushie. Right. And the last three things before we get into the actual figures are Funko Pops. So I got this. Um, King Kong with Battle Axe Funko Pop. This is what it looks like. It's just a Funko Pop. I don't feel like taking it out of the box, so I'm not. Ugh. All right, next up is another Kong. I actually don't have any Godzilla Funko Pops. So here's another Kong. This one's called the Battle Scar Kong. He's holding, is that a crane? I think it's a crane. Um, yeah, you know. That's just the gist of it. You get it. Last but not least for the Funko Pops, we got Mega Godzilla. I just said I didn't really want to open the box for uh, King Kong, but I, I just have to for Mega Godzilla. I just have to. Mega Godzilla is too great of a character, especially this Funko Pop. This Funko Pop Mega Godzilla design is fire. There we go. Yes, look at this beauty. The detail on this thing is magnificent. I love the way the face looks. I love the way it feels. This is a magnificent Funko Pop. Now I just gotta put this thing back. This thing was like wrapped in three layers. Get in there. What you got the gist of All right, and now it's time for us to get into the actual figures. All right, here we got a lot to cover. Um, most of these are actually not Godzilla. Most of these are King Kong, but the rest of this is gonna is the rest of this is going to be Godzilla related. 
these are this is the last of the Kongs. The rest is just Godzilla. All right, so first up, we got this. I think this is Bandai, is it? I'm not sure. Uh, I have no clue. But this is just from Godzilla Earth. It's basically, you know what, now that I think about it, it's almost just an upscale version of this. Yeah, not much to talk about. It has like the exact same articulation as that small figure. <sighs> Get up there and there. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, and uh, the tail. I forgot to mention that. Next up is this Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong Godzilla figure, which is in kind of an awkward position. It makes noise when you press it down on this little button right here. Mouth opens up too. It's kind of in a really awkward position, so I don't really like using it that much. It looks like he's swimming. I, I prefer using it like if I were to pretend he's swimming or something, but the tail just kind of makes that look awkward. He's supposed to be looking up, but that doesn't really make sense if you've watched Godzilla vs. Kong because in the movie he's shown shooting down, like into the hollow earth. Oh, this figure is kind of strange. Alright, now we just got King Kong stuff, and then the rest after the King Kong is just Godzilla. He's. Alright, well, never mind. Alright, we'll start with this Playmates King Kong figure, which also makes noise. It's a very nice figure. Actually, I like it. Not much articulation. You got one at the arm, nothing at the head. The button here like I just used, some at the at the legs, and then at the swivel at the foot. How do I put his oh and then a rotation at the at the fists and then like I said at the arms. That's about it for this one. Nothing too special again, he looks kinda strange. All right, now the rest of this here is NECA King Kong. So we'll start with this. This is my first NECA King Kong figure. It's a um, King Kong, I think it's supposed to be like a poster or something like that, the colored version. The ultimate head is somewhere else, but I'm just gonna keep it with this one. Awesome articulation. So we got one at the shoulder, another one at the shoulder, one like at the base like the top base of the elbow, and then one at the forearm, and then a swivel at the at the hand, and then a bend. Same thing for both arm, yeah, both arms, and then so I, <laughs> this figures. I don't. I I prefer collecting Godzilla figures more than King Kong figures. So this is it for the King Kong for this version of King Kong. Gosh, this is all just piling up. This is my newest King Kong figure. I just got this for Christmas, actually. Um, it's just basic King Kong, you know. Not much to talk about. Exact same articulation as the one I just showed you. And also another King Kong figure. This one could open his mouth a little bit. So yeah, same articulation. Same, exact same. <sighs> all right, now it is time. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Godzilla related stuff. Now this is all just gonna be Godzilla. All right, so our first batch of Godzilla is, oh jeez, this is our first batch. So these are all NECA figures. We got this uh, poster Godzilla from Godzilla 1954, should I go G? Just like the poster version so that you can recreate the poster of the movie. All right, let's go through the articulation. So, Ball joints through the tail, except this part. Articulation on this one is very limited. Um, there's a, a movement at the torso, um, right here at the, at the knee, a swivel at the foot, and then a movement at the thigh. Um, multiple neck movements here, here, and then the jaw can open up. And then there is um, a bend at the knuckle. 
began to swivel at the wrists. And then it comes with the atomic breath. So... Okay. So that's it for this figure. Pretty basic figure. I don't have the original version. I still need to get that. Alright, next up is the return of Godzilla from 19... The 1980s, 1985, I think. This is such a weird figure. The figure looks almost fine from the front. The head is fine. Looks like a bulldog. Um, the feet are unusually small. The dorsal plates are also unusually small. And um, he also his head looks weird from the side as well. Especially like, this gap right here where the jaw is supposed to go. This figure's fine. Doesn't come with an atomic breath. Next up, we have Tokyo SOS Godzilla from what else Tokyo SOS. This is actually my very, this is the one that started the whole collection. This is it. This is the one. This is like, this was the first NECA Godzilla figure I ever collected. My gripe with this is that this section of the tail, it just happened, always falls off doesn't matter what I do, it will fall off. I plug it in, right? Basic articulation, if I like, shake it, boom, falls off. It's annoying, especially like when you're trying to pose it and stuff. But aside that, this is a very, very movable articulated tail. That and then this. And then, uh, you know, other stuff, just like basic articulation, like I just showed you with the other ones, except this one doesn't have a bend. Actually, wait, no, this one does have a bend in the knuckle. Okay, never mind. Uh, so yeah, also does not come with an atomic breath. Ow. It's got spikes. Yeah. All right, next up is, oh god, I'm not the big, oh great. Shin Godzilla. <sighs> There we go, Shin Godzilla. Let's pose him for you. There we go, Shin Godzilla from NECA. Isn't this guy just great? Now, let's see if we can make him look at the camera. Oh no, his head fell off. This thing has so many issues. No, actually no, I take it back, it doesn't. It's the head, that's the, basically the only issue with it. I made it seem like this is the worst thing in the world. It's really not. This head falls off so incredibly easily, it's actually like not, it's like annoying, it's not even funny, especially, even as, like, as I use it as a display piece, it still falls off. Everything else is fine. I don't have really many problems with this figure. Some people do, I don't see why. It's not a bad figure. I do think it's better than the SH Monster Arts figure with likeness, not with articulation. Right, next is... Piling up. Ah. Godzilla or King Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla. Like I just showed you, comes with this atomic breath piece. Um, I really, really, really love this figure. It's not bad at all. Maybe the only complaint I have with it is like the face. It kind of looks like a frog, but that has nothing to do with the, the like the faker. But yeah, again, not many problems with it. See if I can get the DVD. His atomic breath is not really the same as seen in the DVD, but I can just uh, see if I could recreate that. Ugh, okay. Wow, his arm does not go that high. Ugh. And then King Kong. Ugh. How does, how does King Kong pose? You know what? That's the same pose anyway. Ah. Boom! I can't do that. I can't recreate the poster. That's the figure. It's a great figure. Oh no. I'm gonna move the camera like that. Let me just show you what is happening over here. Yeah, it's not pretty. Alright, next batch of figures. 
all still NECA figures, but these are all from uh, the legend, like the legendary Godzilla, the one from uh, you know the American one, the uh, you know the, when you think of Godzilla, this is the most iconic one apparently. So we'll start with uh, Godzilla 2014 from NECA. Like I said before, most of these figures are NECA. Alright. So, this figure is good. I don't really have many complaints about it. The paint's a bit dark, but eh, it's not that bad. Um, the mouth doesn't really open up that wide. That's the most I can get it without the jaw falling off. And then, uh, the tail. This whole thing is one ball joint with bendy wire in it. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> anyway, the figure's fine. I like it. That's it. <laughs> Next is Godzilla 2019 from Godzilla King of the Monsters from NECA, and this is a great figure. I don't know. Those problems that I had with the 2014 were all fixed. Jaw could open much wider, and the entire tail is articulated. Yeah, again, I don't really have many problems with this figure. I still need to get the Hia Haya Toys version. I really want that. That's, like, one of the things I want the most, but, you know, I can wait. Next is the Atomic Breath version of the 2019 Godzilla. I have the Atomic Breath. I kind of lost it. But, yeah, same articulation as the other two that I just showed you. It's just, you know, it's a repaint. But this one isn't not, well, it uses the same model, but I don't even know if it counts as a repaint, because this, this thing is awesome. 2019 freaking burning Godzilla. Oh, jeez. Look at this thing. Like, I don't have a light. Actually, you know what, can I just... <laughs> Does this work? You can kind of see it that it's, it's translucent all the way. It's just kind of difficult to tell. <laughs> so, yeah. Again, same articulation. But this is a really great figure. Alright, now it's time for the next batch. This, these are the last ones. These are the last five figures. Alright, starting off here with the figure I've already reviewed. It was my last video. The SH Monster Arts Godzilla Minus One figure. Yes. I love this thing. Ow. Spines are very sharp. But I love this thing. I don't know why people say people don't like this SH Monster Arts figure. I don't see why. I mean, it is my first, so it does have a soft spot, but I don't know why people don't like it. The articulation is great. The likeness is on point. Everything on this is awesome. I like how these dorsal spines also move. Right, next up is the last NECA figure. It is Godzilla vs. Biollante. This is the version where he's covered in, this is the repaint where he's covered in Biolante's acidic sap. Um, basic articulation, again, just like all the others. The tail on this one is extremely poseable and I love it. Look at that. Ugh, heavily articulated. This is probably the best pose it is. Next. Oh jeez. Did I just... Oh, never mind. Okay. Next up, this is actually our last normal size Godzilla figure, and then the last two are actually big figures. So this is, I think this is Playmates, I'm pretty sure this is Playmates, Playmates 1995 Burning Godzilla. Eh, this figure is... It's a figure, I will say that. Um, the likeness is not there. The teeth look kind of strange. Why is his arm like this? Why is his other arm like this? Why are the legs like this? Why does the burns look like stitches? And why does the burning effect stop halfway through the tail? Yeah, this is a, this is a figure.
last but not least, these are the last two, are the giant, enormous figures. So I'll start with the lower quality one of the two and then end with probably the best one. So this one's the biggest out of my collection, like physically biggest. Ugh, Jack's Pacific, uh, Godzilla 2019. You can barely see this thing. There's like almost no articulation to it. So there's this at the arm, this at the leg, and it looks like there's a rotation at the foot, but there actually is not. This thing is stiff. And then there are two points of articulation at the tail, I think, yes. One point here, and then the other point is right here. <laughs> and last but not least, Definitely not the last one I'll ever collect. The 2021 Godzilla vs. Kong Playmates Mecha Godzilla. Holy, this is a good figure. This one isn't actually mine, it's my brother's. Most of these I got, like I paid myself. Some of them I got for birthdays and Christmas. Some of them are, this is, that, this is the only one that's my brother's actually. Anyway, let's uh, go over this thing. Articulation. Okay, let me give you a better look at the face. There we go. So let's go over the articulation. So nothing at that. There's there's nothing here. Anyway, there is a rotation or a movement here at the shoulder, and then the claws open and close on both arms. With the leg, this moves, and then the tail has a swivel. And then. And then there is a rotation here, and another rotation here. And that's it for rotation. Oh that's it for articulation. And that's also the very last Godzilla figure. This is 2024 edition. Next year I'll give you 2025 edition. Uh, pro this collection probably would have grown. Is probably going to grow so much bigger. So, um, what have we learned from this very, very valuable experience? Um, this thing is worth, this entire collection has to be worth over $200. Look at this. Hey, I'm just gonna throw my phone in, it's just, you just, it's Godzilla. Ow. It's all just Godzilla. Would you look at that? Just, Oh look, it's Godzilla. Look, Godzilla. Godzilla. Is it Godzilla? Yeah, that is Godzilla. Alright, well, I guess I'll see you guys. Oh wait, we forgot one. That guy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you with another one of these, I guess, collection videos next year. I won't make one if my collection doesn't grow as large. I'll just do a short here and there about the new one I get. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I have no clue when my next video is gonna be, you know, I post right. See ya.